New with PSIM 2021 is a improvement to the motor control design suite. So more templates have been added and some changes to the templates have been made. Most importantly is the inclusion of max torque per volt control, uh, which has been included inside of this block. So previously there would have been a block for max torque per amp control, and field weakening control, and now those blocks have been combined into the with the max torque per, per volt control. So the same premise still exists. Place your uh, operating parameters in the left-hand menu here, DC bus, switching speed, torque load, uh, motor parameters and basic motor parameters. And then when you hit update parameter file, uh, stable PI controllers are designed for you. And then from there, when you run the simulation, you'll see uh, some simulation results here. So we see stable IQ uh, control, stable ID control. And this is in speed control where we're ramping up towards set point speed here of 8,000 RPM. And we can see this flag is indicating when we're in max torpor amper control region, or if we're in uh, field weakening, or if we are in max torpor volt control. And we can see how ID changes in each of those uh, different regions as we work to uh, maintain maximum torque and operating conditions out of this out of this machine as we hit uh, set point speed. So that's this. Uh, some changes here to this one. Uh, you could also look at what the torque and speed curves and power curves will look like if you push that button. It will calculate for you uh, the, pa the, the power envelope here as a function of shaft speed. And we'll also see the torque possible as a function of shaft speed. And this is of course with max, max torque per volt control, field weakening and max torque per amper control included. Okay, so that's one of the changes we've done. Uh, another change is we've included now the ability to link to JMAG RT uh, as part of the design suite. So previously you would have been able to just do a co-simulation with a JMAG RT file or JMAG co-simulation, but now that's included as part of the design suite where you can bring in the motor machine parameters from JMAG. And if you launch the JMAG Express Online Wizard, you end up with uh, this thing and you can export your parameters from this tool. This is a free online tool. Uh, where you can export uh, motor parameters. In this case, just a simple design. We can look at the, what the motor diagram looks like and it calculates for you uh, the motor parameters and does a basic efficiency calculation as functions of current, etc. So that's all in here. And you can export this back into PSIM and then PSIM will design uh, those motor, uh, those controllers for you based on that data. And when you run the simulation, we get to see information like this. So this is with that uh, simulation result. We see the flux in the windings. We see the uh, what LD and LQ are here. So it's a non-linear LD, LQ. And we're also seeing uh, the losses here. So the red line is the copper loss. The blue line are the is the eddy losses. And the green line here is the uh, hysteresis power losses. And then up over here, we can see uh, the shaft speed as we hit up towards 6,000 RPM. And then the green line is the generated torque by the machine. So this is a really uh, good uh, step to help you with your motor design situations uh, and working with somewhat more realistic machine models. So that goes right there. Some of the other design suites uh, or, or templates, there's a torque control template. So you can go choose to, instead of having our speed controller used, you can work with a direct torque control here. So here we're just deriving what the, the torque reference. And this allows you to uh, more mimic what a drivetrain motor will be like for electric vehicle. And the last one here is uh, no real changes to the senseless ones that make use of InstaSpin, except the inclusion of that block now, which implements max torque per volt control. So again, in all these cases, you input your motor parameters either from the side menu here or as part of the JMAG RT export or import. And then PSIM will calculate for you stable ID and IQ controllers based on your bandwidth that you'd like and a speed loop controller if you are going to be using a speed loop. And this template is totally editable. So you can change the load with whatever you want to put there change the inverter, move to a multi-level if you want. Another useful aspect of the simulation is you can easily switch the inverter to an average model. Uh, you don't need to consider switching if you're just looking at basic control type things. So you can switch to a switch to an average model for faster simulations uh, by just clicking on the inverter, go to average model, and then enabling these tags over here 
uh, and disabling these ones here to allow for much faster simulations. And that's it for improvements to the motor control design suite.